March Madness Alaska continues, and today, a trip to the championship game on the line for 3A teams. Getting started with Monroe Catholic and Mount Edge come two teams looking to lift their programs to new heights and represent their school in the state title game, something neither team has been able to do in quite some time. So everything on the line, you know the action was going to be intense. The Braves give themselves a nice first half cushion, but the Rams kept ramming their way back in it. But ultimately, it was the heart and hustle of Mount Edge come that led to the 40-35 victory as the Braves reached the state title game for the first time in nine years, backed by their traveling fans. Oh, wow, it was amazing. I loved it. The environment was so, like, it was it was crazy. I've never been to a state before, so the environment was, like, it was, it was awesome. Here we go, Braves! Here we go! Here we go, Braves! Here we go! And after the Braves celebrated with their family and fans, they watched the next matchup to see who they would face in the title game between top seed of Grace Christian and the defending state champion Barrow Whalers in a much-anticipated showdown. You'd think... Grace would have the home court advantage being from Anchorage, but you couldn't tell with the passionate Whaler fans who always show out in full force. And they helped Barrow get off to a scorching start, leading 19 to seven after the first quarter, but the Grizzlies clawed and mauled their way back. The full court defense is something serious. Grace fending off a late push from Barrow to win 60 to 52 as the Grace girls are heading to their first ever state championship game. I'm just so stoked. We've worked so hard to get here, and we've been preparing for it all season. And I, especially to be the first girls basketball team at Grace to go to the championship, I think that's a huge deal. And I think we're just, like, all super stoked right now. 3A girls championship game is set in a historic one at that one. Mount Edgecombe and Grace Christian looking to bring their trophy home to their respective schools. In the boys' semi.